between the times of Sega and Nintendo fighting for supremacy before the rise of Sony, there was an age undreamed of. And onto this, two nerds destined to have a podcast. It is I, one of them podcasters, who alone can do this intro, cause he does not care if he seems like he is making fun of Mako. Let me tell you of the days of Grand Podcast. Nerd is the new sexy. This podcast is good, but wild. What is best in life? To crush your enemies! To see them driven before you! To hear the laminations of their women! Cauliflower! <laughs> God damn it! Conan! <laughs> Conan! <laughs> Conan! Obviously, today's topic, it will be Conan. Cauliflower! <laughs> <laughs> Governor Cauliflower! Yep. Conan the Barbarian, Conan the Destroyer, even the new Conan. I mean, honestly, we're, and we're talking about the original, you know, right off the bat here for the 2011 for, movie doesn't exist. Yeah, you know what though? I'll tell you what. I ended up watching it. I liked it a lot for different reasons than than the original. If it wasn't Conan, I might have liked it. Yeah, see, I like it because a- after after having the bias that I did with the with the original and stuff like that here and they made a remake, I was like, oh god. I went into it got going, okay, you know what? This is a different type of Conan. Everything like that, and I ended up enjoying it a lot. I I thought it was great because because of the whole he's he's like super happy about killing everybody and everything like that. It's nice and gory. I had a lot of fun with it. I, it was I, I gory. Rescind I'll my, give you that. Yeah, I rescind my my initial impression of it before I had seen it about it being being dumb. I liked it a lot. Not me. I thought it was fucking stupid. <laughs> <laughs> to this day, I think it was stupid. I watched it once, and that's the only time. That's 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 the only amount of times I can watch it. I can't watch it again. I can't. It's it was like it was like it, it just wasn't. Yeah. yeah. Well, and you can't. You shouldn't kill off Ron Perlman like that. Come on. Ron Perlman's just a badass. Yeah. Even yeah. in real life, he's a badass. <laughs> yeah. But, but yeah. Oh, freaking freaking Conan, man. And I'll tell you what what I love about the original Conan movies, the, the first two, they are basically the the most epic LARP ever. Live action yeah. role play. Yeah. They really are. That's yeah. all those movies were. Well, who didn't want a big sword to swing it around like a fucking retard? Yeah. Or, you know. Yeah, it was, you know, and it was really cool seeing, you know, Arnold, you know, on some, some of those old uh, uh, talk shows, stuff like that, coming out with the sword and actually swinging it around on stage. Who was it back then? It wasn't David Letterman that did The Tonight Show. It was uh, John no, Carson. It, yeah, with Johnny, yeah, yeah, coming out with, you know, on Johnny Carson and swing, swinging the sword around and having fun that way. And Red yeah, oh, Sonja! <laughs> yeah, we'll definitely be talking about Red Sonja. Red Sonja there's, there's an interesting story behind that, too. Yeah. You know, like, the first Conan was pretty cool. It kind of gave, like, a whole backstory to, you know, Conan's... He's like, I'm in love. I love you so much. You gotta... Where are you going? Yeah, Valeria. <laughs> Valeria! It is, I, uh... You died. Oh, I, I will avenge you. I, oh, get over here, cauliflower. <laughs> yeah, I mean, come on. And, and at that one point, when James Earl Jones picks up a snakes and shoots her with it... <laughs> that was fucking cool. That's <laughs> fucking awesome. He, he, like, he, like, erected it like a penis. He just, like, pleased. He just like flicked his wrist and it was like a straight arrow snake. <laughs> yeah. <thing>. Which, <laughs> He's like putting on the bow and it's all going all straight and he fires a snake. Well, let's come be, on. Let's be honest. The force yeah. is strong with James Earl Jones. It, 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 seriously. Even that, that is the true story of how Vader became Vader. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> he forced a snake to get like stiff. Yeah. He used the force. He's like, bling, and then shot her ass with it. Yeah, which is great. Which hey. I don't think Sonya. I, I like. I don't think in Red Sonya. I'm, I'm sorry for jumping around. But Red Sonya. I don't think Conan officially, but kind of unofficially, repraised this part. Or you know, they they didn't re, like like he didn't come back as Conan, or he wasn't. Supposed no, to. he his name in that one is Kalidor. Now yeah. he was supposed to be Conan. The problem is famous films made Red Sonya. Yeah. Universal hold the rights to Conan. They could not secure the the rights to the name for a reasonable price. He really was supposed to be. And Red Sonia does take place in the Conan universe officially. Oh, it's obvious. It's like the it, everything looks the same. It's probably the same fucking director. 
You know? Um, no, it was not the same director. No, I'm 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 saying that to be funny, but you get oh, my yeah. point. Like some of the writers had to have been the same or something because there was a lot of the same stuff. It was a good movie, not you yeah. know even even if it was written by other people. And obviously, someone went like, "Oh, this Conan stuff is doing good. Let's let's make a Shira to the He Man." Yeah, and actually, no, you're right. Uh, Robert E. Howard did have that Red Sonia show up in in the in the story. Yeah. Um, uh, in night, uh, he uh, she was created in 1934. Yeah. And uh, Robert E. Howard was actually the person who the direct writer for the Conan. But yeah, Red Sonia and Conan do exist in the same universe, and they are supposed to be that would that movie was supposed to bring them both together. Yeah. But fucking legal reasons. Fuck you, legality. Um, yeah, he was. I liked Red Sonia. You know, I I don't think it's as good as the Conan movies. Not because it's a female barbarian. You guys are fucking idiots if you think so. But because it just wasn't a, as good of a movie. It just wasn't. I would do things to Red Sonia that would make Conan look like a pussy. Oh God, yes. Yeah. Sexually. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. <laughs> and homosexually. <laughs> that that's actually an inside joke, guys. It's from mm-hmm. uh, something our but a good buddy Maximus you first talk about him. It's something that he's said in the past. Yeah. Um, but anyway, yeah, it has to do with the Ron movies. Yes. But yeah, I just it, it was the the plot was a little more convoluted. The real long walking shots didn't make a whole lot of sense. It's like okay, well, good. I guess we've established where each room in the her, little castle is. Well, I, 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 care. well, you're talking about I think what the third one? No, no, Red Sonia. Red Sonia. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, yeah, the, there was. But if you think about it, some of the shots I think they were trying to mimic some of the shots from like Conan where. He's on that cliff or whatever, and that's all magical and shit. And uh, or you know, he's he's swinging the sword around, and he's badass, and is. He, I think they're just trying to trying to mimic some of those like awesome shots there, and they're thinking, oh, this castle looks cool. Let's do every room for no reason. Yeah, yeah, but watching watching uh, watching her walk from the chamber into her throne room, just walking, it's like, okay, cool, thanks, guys. We don't need that. Now, to be fair, the original Conan the Barbarian. That movie, I would say, is probably forty-five to fifty-five percent filler. Yeah, it really is. With the, now the scene where he is high as fuck and he punches that camera, cracks in the face. me the fuck up. <laughs> I best scene I in love the movie. That scene. Yeah, he just turns around, sees that Campbell, and punches him. <laughs> That's almost as good as the peyote scene in like Young Guns. So yes, yeah, yeah. yeah it was, see the what? size of that chicken. See the size of that chicken. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> uh, Spirit World. Yeah, it was a, it was a good movie yeah. too. But um, yeah. Conan, the first Conan was basically it was you're right, it was filler, but it was basically you know it, it was basically almost look look at it like Dragon Ball Z. It's basically it's like true. this is Goku, but it, no, it's not Goku. It's Conan. But instead of like instead of like you know getting right into it, they're giving like a little backstory and showing how badass he is. That's yeah. my point. Honestly, how, this is how I think the the Conan movie kind of came about. Dungeons and Dragons at the time was starting to get much more popular because it came out in 1982. With the nerds. Yeah, with with the nerds. The entire movie literally reminds me of some campaigns that I have done yeah. in D&D and Pathfinder where all of a sudden someone will join. So you write in a scenario where the character joins. When they first meet Valeria, when he first... I mean, just everything about the movie and you're watching it, you're going, okay, this character just joined. He just got this item. He's walking over here collecting this. Now he's doing some side quests. It is seriously one giant live-action role play the play. entire movie. I think what happened was that John Millis and the other two writers sat down and played D&D one time and said, you know what, we could turn this into a movie. It was a really good, it had to be a really good session. They were like, you know what, this character, this Conan character that you got, you, did, one of you guys played, let's make him Arnold. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, there were books, but they didn't base it off of books. They just took the characters yeah. and then said, well, we don't really want to redo the stories in the books. Let's make our own. Yeah. So I think they just said, okay, hey, you played a barbarian when we were role-playing. Let's make it Conan. Let's make it Conan. Conan. <laughs> and then what? Which, which one was Conan 2? I forget, because I get 2 and 3 mixed up. Uh, uh, Conan the Destroyer. Conan the Destroyer, I think. Two. But what was that about? What was the, which one was that? Was that was the one where he ends up getting getting with that that evil queen who wants her niece oh, killed. Oh, that's right. And yeah, yeah and they had the uh, that's see that Dagon. one that one seems like a fucking D and D campaign. He had the yeah. thief. He had the mage. 
That's true. That's a D and D campaign right there. Dude. Yeah, he had the he had the princess. He had the he had basically had a black guard. And... Yeah, he had a black guard. He had a, he had a yeah. It, it was it was but anyway, I'm, that doesn't take any away, away from the movie. And you know, yeah. going up with it was badass. The yeah. musical score in the movies were amazing. Oh, I love the musical scores in that in that movie. And I mean, we we played some of that at the very beginning. Mm-hmm. And it's just it's amazing. Just the overall soundtrack when they're walking around that that broad sweeping you know orchestra. Yeah, and the fighting music and, and it was oh, yeah, different back ass. then it was it was live yeah. orchestral it wasn't like made in like a a, a program and or you know or, or or made to sound better with you know certain effects it was just i mean i'm sure they had the different effects back then but they were crude and different you know mm-hmm. it's not like it is nowadays back then that was just fucking magical it was just you know, oh yeah, well, like, yeah it's like the original star wars yeah and, i was know, about to say the, that the yeah. actual symphony and yeah john uh john williams yeah you know used an actual orchestra and everything like that and now i and i know that the, the uh conan the destroyer isn't one of the more popular ones out, out, out of the two but i liked that one i even liked when he was in there and he was surrounded by the glass the evil wizard they're fighting you know, yeah, that was has, a fun has the one. glass demon after him, and yeah, that that was a fun one. That but or, wait, wasn't that the one where the no, he had to bring that princess or something to the to wait. No, yeah, they had to get the they had to get the horn for Dagon. That's so, right. Uh, yeah, the, the with that with the god who their god that was all laying down. It's like my name is Dagon, the god of nonchalant. Yeah, but wasn't was okay? This, I'm getting them mixed up then because wasn't that the same one as the one with the uh, the princess that needed to die? Yep. Yeah. So that was the second. So couldn't yeah, she had to remain a virgin. Yeah. And she kept trying to fuck Arnold. Yeah. Yeah. She was like, I, fuck, dude. I, I was Arnold. I'd have tore that up. Oh yeah. She looked. She looked like she was like 1920. And innocent, and you just like wanted to corrupt that innocence. You're like, come over here, I'm gonna show you my other sword. Open your mouth. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Sexual references. <laughs> oh god. Yeah. So, so the other one. What was the other one after? Because there was three Conan movies, wasn't there? Or was there just? Uh, well, no. The third one was that was the uh, was the newest one. The what was what it was supposed to happen was it was gonna be Conan the Barbarian, Conan the Destroyer, and then Conan, Conan the Conqueror. Yeah. And Conqueror was supposed to be the last movie where he actually got his crown, which is why at the end of uh, I would think it was. The destroyer when Miku goes, and he got his kingdom back. But that is a story for another yeah. time. And it's like we never got it. Never. Well, we we did get it, but it wasn't Conan. It was Cole. It was Cole. The Kevin Con- Sorbo. <laughs> yeah. Now that that movie was a was just a tragedy. The basic story for the basic backstory for this is is it, and this isn't the movie backstory. This is the backstory yeah. behind the movie. Is that it was written to be the new. Um, Conan. Conan movie. It was supposed to be the last, but I don't. I, I and I couldn't. Some of the facts could be wrong on this, but the uh, uh, I guess Schwarzenegger was too busy with his with his Terminator movies and and doing other things at the time. Uh, this was in '97 when, yeah. when it came out. Yeah. Uh, so he was too busy doing stuff like that, possibly possibly trying to be governor of Cauliflower and. Yeah. Um, you know, he had he had other plans, obviously. So they went and got Kevin Sorbo instead of it being Conan the Conqueror. It was Cole the Conqueror, and they changed yeah. it around. You could tell it was definitely meant to be Conan. Yeah, because I mean, it's even it's even based off of the the Robert Howard stories from from Conan. The whole world, all the characters. It it, it was supposed to be the the final Conan movie, it, and everyone kind of went no. <laughs> it, it it was almost like straight to DVD kind of yeah. sci-fi type movie. Yeah, and, it's rated like four point eight. And don't out of 10. yeah, and don't get me wrong, I love Kevin Sorbo. Oh god, yeah, guy's awesome. Great, great guy. You know, Hercules. You know, I'd like to see him play another type of character someday, <laughs> but yeah. we'll see. Uh, but it, you just you know if and the thing is is if I didn't know that Cole the Conqueror was supposed to be Conan the Conqueror, I probably would have liked the movie more. But, but I think I, that's why everybody didn't like it. Yeah, but I knew, and it just felt like I got I got screwed. I got yeah. screwed to the final. We and not just me, everyone. We got screwed to the final Conan movie. Yeah, you know. But there is a uh, good news. Uh oh, good news. Yes, Conan Legacy. It's called Legacy. Well, that's the working title. Oh, okay. So basically, what, what's going on is now that uh, Genesis is done, the Terminator Genesis and Mad Max Fury Road got such a huge ermagerd. Which apparently Fury Road is really good. I've yet to see it. I really need to. I want to see Genesis just to say I've seen it. Uh, and I heard it was actually very good. A lot of people went into it going, "This is going to suck," and came out going, "Oh my god!" Yeah. Well, look at the last so, few Terminator movies. It, yeah. <laughs> now, 
what what's really cool is uh, this is actually Arnold Schwarzenegger. It's going to take place 30 years after the original, so like uh, uh, like the 1984 The Destroyer. Uh, we don't know exactly what's going on, but they said it's going to be filmed like the original. So I am really excited about this. Um, See. Schwarzenegger ha- has been confirmed that he is working on the project. It looks what? like they're final- they, they finalized the script, and Schwarzenegger huh. said... Oh my God! Yes, I'll do this now. <laughs> yes. I, 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 I. Oh my so, arthritis! <laughs> yeah. Now this is not a tie-in in any way to the 2011 with with Jason Moma. Oh God! Um, it has. It is not connected to that world at all. This is the original, not the reboot. Yeah. Uh, the 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 reboot doesn't exist in my opinion. Horrible. Again, Horrible I, I I I thoroughly enjoyed it. I would. I, it was a I. That's time of my life I could not get back. Thank God I didn't pay for, to see that movie. Yeah, but I want to hear like an old ass Arnold, you know, Arnold Schwarzenegger's Conan sitting there like with the cane or using a sword as a cane, going, "I come, I think I fell and hurt my hip. <laughs> 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 oh my arthritis! Yeah, so yeah. Oh damn it, dude. That's yeah. great. Oh, uh, you know, I know it'd be really, it'd be really kind of funny if like kind of at the end of the first Conan. You know, Conan the Barbarian, when he's sitting there and he's talk, talking to Crumb. I had never really prayed to you. You can help me stay out of my way. Otherwise, screw it to hell with you. To hell with you. You know, Crumb, help me. Get me some ibuprofen. <laughs> if you do not, to hell with you. Icy hot. <laughs> <He's asking laughs> yeah. Icy hot. Oh. Give me some Ben Gay. <laughs> to hell with you. To hell with you. <laughs> <laughs> That that's uh, that'd, that'd be funny as hell. I forgot about that scene where he prayed to Crom. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, can can you can you imagine praying to God like that? I mean, just or like it just praying to anybody like that. Yeah. Like like either help yeah. me or go the fuck yeah. home. Yeah. I mean, it'd be like going to McDonald's and be like, I want a McDouble, but no onions. If I find an onion, to hell with you. Hell with you. <laughs> that's too dumb. How do you say to a god, to hell with you? I, I right. Like. <laughs> Crom just sitting there going, well, shit, okay. <laughs> um, you're Conan. I yeah. can't argue with that. You're pretty badass. Got many muscles. Yeah. <laughs> we don't. We don't have fucking uh, the drugs that the kind of drugs that you're taking up here in in, in Crom Heaven or whatever the fuck you want to call it. Valhalla. Yeah. Wrong time and shit. I know or whatever. Wrong, wrong yeah. mythology. I, I, you know what? I don't. I don't know. I know. I know. At one point, like during Conan the Destroyer, he looks down. And she says, "Look at the altar. It'll show you what you see." And he says, "Valeria." And she says, "Is that your woman?" He, he says, "Yes." She says, "Where is she?" She goes, "He. She sits next to to Crom, my god, in the afterlife." But I don't know if he actually says like the name of the al- afterlife. I forget. You know what cracks me up though is he's totally he's totally watching like Crom get his woman. Yeah, I know, right? He's like, "Yeah, she's sitting next to Crom." Yeah, yeah. You know what that means? He's banging her. He's banging her, Conan. Are you She's not happy mad? the afterlife? She's getting that crumb dick. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, here, here's my here's my concern with the new movie. All the CGI and everything like that. Please do it like the original. Have, <laughs> have something. Put his head on his old body. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be like okay. Terminator Genesis all over again. Yeah. Okay. Not not that. Not that extreme. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, dude. Think about not, it. Not 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 that like the you, that like the old one. You got, um, you got, yeah. They're just gonna they're just gonna they're just gonna rotoscope. Yeah, you know. In the old shots, and then just put his new put his head, his, like his, his face, his new his head, his face on the old body, and just shoot around the the angles of the original movie. Oh God! <laughs> oh, it's gonna be at like... one point Conan's head turns completely around. <laughs> I see Look you. What I can do. Yeah, <laughs> I see you. <laughs> My oh. drum! Oh. Give me a chiropractor! <laughs> to hell with you! Oh, to hell with you! <laughs> He's just like, <laughs> Crom kissed me! <laughs> Fucking his head spin. Oh. No, what I mean is like with the original Alien and Aliens and stuff like that, and the original Conan, you can cover it up with CG, but at least have somebody there in similar dimensions to what you're going to make the creature look like on screen so that they have something to look at and interact with. So they're not just Staring you know, at nothing. in the air and you know, doing stupid shit like that. Because it is very, very noticeable. Yeah. I think that, um, I don't know, I, I think that we're, sp- I think that the new generations nowadays are spoiled off CG. 
And I think that CG can, I mean, a lot of people use CG in movies nowadays <clears throat> just because they can when they can just as easily make, you know, make the graphics look just as good. You know, yeah. like you said in the last Nerd with the Freddy Krueger thing where they put the thing on the wall, the uh, yeah, the sheet, the sheet yeah. on the wall where, you know, you exactly can do that there. and look just as good rather than using CG. And it actually looks better because if you watch the new one and the old one side by side on that scene, mm-hmm. the old one actually looks better because something's actually there whereas the new one you go oh that's that's obviously fake that's just a computer like water and yeah it looks like a computer image because as as computer generate graphics change and video games get better and graphics and movies get better anything that came before it that uses computer looks horrible yeah and but eh. use an actual set piece to do the effects look at star wars it always looks good Look yeah. at the first Star Wars, you know, you can't deny that that still looks pretty damn good. And Oh, absolutely. And that was all fucking models and, you know. Yep. So, yeah, and because something's there. And that is why the original Star Trek looked as good because I remember them talking about how they filmed it going into a spaceport one time. Yeah. They shot it with this super super high-speed camera and they literally put this thing on a slingshot and fired it into there yeah so when they played back it looked like it was moving really slowly across the screen and landed inside i i forget how many takes they talk about and we'll talk t- about that on, a, on a, boss took a few episode. takes i'm actually thinking about that because what if what if they shot it and like spun <laughs> yeah <laughs> how no, are you they, gonna yeah. explain that yeah they, they <laughs> said a couple of times they were weird, getting, we had a weird yeah. something in space because it's plot <laughs> <laughs> yeah, actually, they said they were getting really frustrated because it was taking so long and it was so hard to do it because they had to get it just right. But yeah, I freaking it, just as long as the new Conan has, uses practical effects, don't over CGI it. The blood on the new Conan most of the time looked really good because they were using you know like wires and stuff like that to shoot blood across the screen. But yeah. there were some times where it looked like the first God of War, where it looked like See- fucking. I was I was about to say that a lot of and if you think about it a lot of movies started mimicking God of War when it yeah. came to that slow motion blood shit. Yeah, look, I love Expendables. All three movies, I freaking love it. It's a throwback to to campy, corny, plot hole filled, ridiculous, over the top bullshit action movies, and they are the most wonderful thing because of it. But the blood 80s. Effects, yeah. But the blood effects on there in most of those are so bad looking. Like there are several times where people are getting stabbed and cut and it's very obviously computer and not real. And it's like, wow, wait a minute. Back in the 80s when they would do effects like this, they were using prosthetics and other stuff. And it looked much more real yeah. even today than this does with Whoa. the <clears throat> jelly blood and, and bullshit. Well, they, they they had to be, you know, they had to think on the fly back then. And now it's just, oh, we could fill that in with fucking computer graphics. Yeah. Let's be lazy. Computer yeah. graphics. I, I mean, sometimes it works. Sometimes it doesn't. I mean, shit, when we used to film stuff, when we, we would put, you know, firecrackers and stuff and try to and time the camera so yeah. that it looked like gunshots were going off and things like that. But, yeah. you know, now we we would use other, you know, other techniques and things like that. Mostly because now we could go to, you know, big boy jail for lighting off explosive devices. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I just, I really want them to do to do this right. I, I'm really hoping, and I think they will. I don't think we're gonna have another Cole the Conqueror, uh, which is actually rated even lower than the new Conan movie is. We'll see. Well, the well, the new Conan movie was horrible, in my opinion. You said you I, liked it. I liked it. I really liked it. I, I think it could have been better. I think it was like it was it was almost like they tried to rewrite the first one but add, you know, more. Yeah. And it was yeah, just Yeah, and I will get I'll give you that. Yeah. But in the moral was just less in my opinion. Like, you know, it I I'm going to say this about movies nowadays. You know, for some reason we went from like 90-minute movies to like 2-hour movies. I don't yeah. know why. I maybe I want to I kind of want to blame the Lord of the Rings. I you know what? And that's that's kind of what how it started. People were like, "Oh, er, people will just sit through anything." Yeah. Because well, what? Mm. Yeah, no. I think the Lord of the Rings is where it really caught on because yeah. I believe the movie Pelican Brief was like three hours long. Yeah. So, um, but it did. It didn't make a trend like the freaking yeah. Lord of the Rings did. Yeah, and I, you know, I don't know where it went. It, it, and you know, you don't have to put filler into a movie to make it two hours long. It could be a good movie. Could be ninety minutes. The eighties is full of them. Yeah. You know, 90 minutes to like, you know, a little, a little, like I said, a little over an hour. But, you know, these nowadays it's almost like it's status quo. You got to, this movie has to be over three hours long or people won't watch it. No, <laughs> yeah. no, no. Bad. And that's, that's, uh, yeah. 
the cinematic, you know, I, I, this is okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, if I had a rating system, mm. okay, the last Transformers movie, I would, I would, and it was, I, it was horrible in my opinion, horrible. Oh movie. yeah, the uh, Age of Extinction. Yeah, with fucking Marky Mark, which yeah, Marky Mark, yeah, which even his, and his, I, I think he's an accomplished actor. I just think oh, yeah. he was a shit actor in that movie. Um, <clears throat> well, the new, the new 2011, uh, Conan movie ranks just as high as the Transformers Age of Extinction to me. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I, yeah, that's pretty low. It's pretty low, and I, I just was not a, I was not a fan of that movie. There you yeah, have it. Yeah, uh, there was a Conan video game, Hi- Hyborian Adventures. Wasn't it like a... Uh, it was an MMO. Oh, yeah, like... Yeah. People complain that Conan... Which, I, when I first heard about it, I'm like, this is kind of cool. Then I read about it. Ugh. And it was weird because I kind of like suggested that Conan was actually now a bad guy. He was like an, an, an evil king. That's where they fucked up. Yeah. Can't make Conan a bad guy. No. Conan's a shit. Yeah, I I don't think there's been too many too many other ones. There was an animated series at one point. Yeah, there was actually. You, drawing stuff is a lot cheaper than having to like improvise CG. That's true. Or, yeah, or make a fake limb or do something like that. You can just draw it. Look, oh, his arm fell off instead of, you know, <laughs> trying to figure out how they're going to fucking do it. Yeah. Cut and paste. But you No, know, there's a few things in, in the whole can, uh, canon of Conan. Ha ha. That I... Canon of I, Conan. Yeah, it doesn't make a whole lot, a lot of sense, though. Like, when he... Uh, I, I still don't understand the whole point. Like, wh- wh- when he died and they brought him back, that was, like, one of the really weird parts of the first Conan oh, movie. Oh, yeah. Like, he wrote all over him. Oh, yeah. Well, that was supposed to be, like, magic. It, that, he, that's exactly what that was supposed to be. Yeah, but they... It, I don't know. And, like... Because didn't they the, write all, all over his love interest, too, when they buried her? Um, uh, well, he, when they he burned her, her up in war paint. Oh, that's right. And sent her to Crom. 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 So, yeah. No, you know what? No, I did see the original Conan cartoon. I remember it now. Do you? Yeah, because he had... A, oh, my God. Because there was a chick in that one who, who threw daggers, and there was there was a dude who threw bolas. And he was, like, able to draw symbols on the ground, and he, like, talked to animals and have animals attack people. And he had this magic potion. I remember this now, because I used to watch this shit all the time. I That damn car accident, so I, I barely remember stuff. Yeah. He was able to throw these bolas... And it would wrap around people, and then he was able to call them back because he had this magic potion on it. Jesus Christ. I rem- Yeah, I remember it. No, no, she didn't have throwing knives. She had uh, throwing stars. And oh. she ended up using the magic potion to be able to, to do it. Well, and- I, I guess it's better for a cartoon than hacking someone's limbs off. Yeah. Because it wasn't, it wasn't, wasn't that like a late 80s cartoon anyway? Uh, I, I want to say it was a late 80s cartoon. It might have been early 90s. No, maybe not even early 90s. I know I didn't but, I didn't watch it. I, I I was like, this is a wannabe He-Man. I think that's what Yeah, it was called. Conan the Adventurer. Yeah. <laughs> it was it was the cartoon and there was there was like quite a few quite a few. Yeah, it lasted uh, a few seasons. Yeah, cuz I remember watching and thinking, you know, hoping it was going to be like they were trying to like cash in on He-Man. Yeah, exactly. It is what it was. Cuz He-Man was huge. Yeah. Oh, I have the power. 92 to 93. Yeah. Okay, so all right. Yeah, so, so it was a little so yeah, after He Man, but yeah. Yeah, but they were trying to trying to cash in on it. Yeah, they're they're like, oh, the the Conan series got pretty big, and you know, we'll make a season of that or two. Yeah, because it, it was the whole thing with Star Metal. It was the special. Oh, that's right. So okay, so if you remember the Legend of Zelda cartoon when he would like zap people and they would disappear mm-hmm. and stuff like that, well, this Star Metal was able to uh, make the serpent people lose their ability to look like people. Instead of killing them and stuff like that, they would touch them with the Star Metal and they would like disappear type thing. <laughs> yeah, they were banished, right? and they would never actually hit them with the weapons. They would touch them with the weapons. <laughs> <laughs> we're here we're here from our original plane of existence please yeah, and don't actually, hit us with star metal because if you yeah. do <laughs> our life would be a living hell <laughs> <laughs> yeah let's just hope that the new conan is going to be just as violent and gory oh it's got to be i mean in fact it might probably be more so because they had more rules for for cinematic movies back then, like it, it, it almost seems like nowadays they're more lenient on shit like that. Let it be as gory. Don't let it have fake CGI blood. Good storyline. I want one porno scene. Well, of course, one porno scene. 
Him and Red Son- Old Red Sonia. There's got to be like that. <laughs> oh, no, you don't want Old Red Sonia. <laughs> no, that'd be no, hilarious. She, she, no, dude. she be more... popping everywhere. <laughs> vagina, vagina meat. Like, uh, uh, yeah, it'd be hilarious. No, that, she, could, she wouldn't be Red Sonia anymore. She'd be like mostly gray. <laughs> She'd be dead Sonia. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> dead Sonia. Yeah, she'd uh, be like Ashy Redwood Sonia. Ashy Redwood Sonia. <laughs> uh, unshaven Redwood Sonia. Yeah. Oh. Aww. Aww. Damn it, I made myself sad. <laughs> Should have made yourself sick. That's disgusting. Uh, what well, would be funny? Well, no, I, I, it's sad because I remember her old body. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> See that? Okay, I give you permission if you bring Red Sonia into that. I give you guys permission to like Photoshop her old body naked. Yeah, yeah, that would be okay. Yeah, if, yeah, that's only if she gets naked. Yeah, only, only. And if she's like you know back as the old Red Sonia, which of course she has to be old because you know Arnold is old. old. So yeah. I, I, if she's back, please like give her as much armor as possible. <laughs> <laughs> I, I do not want to see an over-the-shoulder boulder holder holding up her titties that are probably like swinging close to her knees. I mean, yeah, but... I mean the actress is a beautiful actress. I don't, I don't think she's done much. Out. Who was the actress? Uh, she was a. I know she was a foreign actress. Uh, you'd have to pull she that didn't up. Do much. She didn't. No. Much. She did that, and then maybe a few other things. But that was like, yeah, it was. It was a good movie. though. Red Sonia was a good movie. Yeah, I liked it. I, I thought it was fun. Like I said, but you know, it, it, if there's another Conan coming out. And it sounds certainly sounding like it's gonna happen. Yeah, I'm I'm hoping it's not you know disappointing. A lot of the movies that Arnold's been in lately has just been kind of like, eh, meh. You know, I haven't seen a new Terminator, so I can't bring that into what I'm talking about. But yeah, I haven't yet either. I heard it was good, so I'm excited because you know I kind of curious when I saw like you know the whole new and old Terminators. You know, like the the like they when they you know CGI'd his body from back in the fucking eighties. That well, was... It, it was it was a new body in his old face is what they used. Oh well, you get my point. When they CGI'd like mm-hmm. old, uh, you know, young Arnold yeah. fighting with old Arnold, there's a lot of questions there. So you know, or I don't even know if they fought. I just they're fucking there. So yeah. there's a lot of questions there. So I am interested in seeing that damn movie. I just gotta get it. I guess, or wait for it to get on Netflix or Hulu or some yeah. shit. So it's just, uh, yeah, till then, I'm just going to wait. But if they, if they, you know, if and when they do make an, another uh, Conan, I hope they just don't make the same mistake of hiring like shitty, um, uh, shitty writers god no kidding you know it not not the people who worked on the newest conan movie either like i said it it, it it was good i really enjoy it i just i want to see the original conan but now later you know kind of like the whole start with, with the force awakens i want new pe- you know the whole new thing with everything going on with 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 the good story with the good story with everything that's going on and but be so true to the original i want to see the old conan walking around cutting people's heads off and i want to see real blood well not necessarily real blood but you know what i mean like, i want to see real blood yeah corn syrup and pig's blood for real blood you know type thing and just yeah freaking i i want it to be gory i want it to be Conan the Destroyer had a more coherent story than the Barbarian, like way, way, way more. Like I said, it was it was more like a D and D campaign. Yeah, I just I I liked like I said I liked the Destroyer, and I I'm kind of hoping they continue with that with a very cohesive storyline, you know, decent decent plot, and that whole big battles where Conan's you know fighting you know ten fifteen people at once. All he's right. got he's got that you know that look on his face after he cut some you know cut somebody up, and he just stares at the camera like. All right, who else, who else is going to yeah. be into my sword, bitch? What, the, what was it? The, what was the? You were talking about that where they were fighting that god in the third. Was it the third mm-hmm. one? The, the second one. The second, the second one. one. One of the things that cracks me up the most about that was that little fucking thief guy with the daggers. Oh, uh, he Malik. was. Yeah, he was the fucking. Uh, he was a fucking comic relief. Oh yeah. Uh, oh, like anyway. he was trying to give the the sex talk to that chick. Yeah. Oh yeah, you know, and they come together and they're hanging out and. The joining. The joining. <laughs> yeah. It's like, wow, yeah, this is the guy to give, like, the fucking sex talk. Well, when, when Conan actually kills the demon, 
<clears throat> he like does this awesome stab, and then yeah. like he walks away, and then here comes a little fucking the thief guy. He does the fucking same thing <laughs> yeah, with just his daggers. A couple times, and then the music starts again, like it's it's as epic as the first time. Yeah, that's just good writing. That's just good writing. If I was a thief, if I was in his case in his shoes, I'd have done the same fucking thing. Oh, God, yeah. I'd have been like, yeah, you're not the only hero. I'm a thief, and I got these <laughs> daggers. Watch what I could do. <laughs> I never got to use my backstab skill. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, he, he did a lot of thieving, though. That's Oh, yeah, he did. That was good. It was it was a rule, you know, and you got to see kind of like a, a some of the form of magic, almost the force kind of thing. Where where uh, oh yeah, Akio yeah, where Akio uh, was, Akiro. Uh, what, yeah. Akiro or whatever his name was was fighting, you know, fighting against that their other the other mage guy like trying yeah. to open and close that that <laughs> fucking mouth. That was cool as shit, you know, the to the cave. Yeah, she she ching she ching yeah she ching she ching. <laughs> and he's like, hey, he's making oh, sound yeah. effects. Yeah, uh-uh. I, and, and what's funny is it reminded me of, and now uh, I, I don't, I think Big Trouble in Little China came out afterwards, but it really reminded me because I had seen Big Trouble in Little China first yeah. of that scene where he's fighting Lo Pan. Yeah, and and and, and they're doing that back and forth. Mm-hmm. And I was just like, oh yeah, this reminds me of that. That was a, yeah, that I, I gotta agree with you on that one. That was there was a lot of like similarity right there. Yeah, it was and big big trouble in Little China. That was a good movie. Too. Oh, great movie. A lot of inspiration for for Mortal Kombat in it, which Ed Boon says he. He drew inspiration from that. I mean, a lot of places. It's not just that. Yeah. But, yeah. The whole Raiden character. Yeah. Um, I will say this, though. Um, I've, I heard somewhere, I don't know if this is true or not, that they're going to remake or re- reboot Big Trouble in Little China. It's because Hollywood has no fucking well, yeah. talent anymore. That's the problem. It's just all these people who grew up with, with all this stuff is now going, you know what? I can make that movie now. Well, and I'm going to do it better. And it's like, no, you don't know how to do it. And then we talked about this with like the Ruby yeah. reboot with, with RoboCop. And well, it's not just, I, I, I think it's, like, it's that, it but it's also, it's that, but it's also they're playing on like nostalgia on people like you and me. You know, yeah. like, oh, you know, the people who grew up with Ghostbusters, we're going to do an all-female Ghostbusters now. And maybe after that, we're going to do another all-male Ghostbusters. Come spend your money off this piece of shit movies. And, you know, RoboCop. RoboCop was a good example of that. Like, we Oh, said. yeah, and it blew. And it blew! It Robo- fucking blew. Total Recall sucked balls. Hey, let's make a bunch of references back to the better movie. Mm-hmm, and it's... I'm glad they didn't do that with Conan, though. Like there was, there was a, few, there was like a reference here or there if you paid attention. It was there like, was some... oh yeah, I remember that. But it was more of a nod than a, yeah, was... hey, let's let's reference a better movie, which is really funny because Conan the Destroyer is considered one of is out of the two mm-hmm. the lower uh, uh, liked one, which I actually like it better than the Barbarian. I liked Conan it's the rated Destroyer. At... I just didn't think it had as much. Uh, action is the barbarian. That that's true. It, it absolutely didn't. There was a lot of like filler, like you know. Uh, I think one of the scene, the best scenes in that movie was when they when you know they were in the, here's that room of mirrors and and a lot of it was just like you know okay we're going from point A to point B and there's a lot more dialogue. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was it was more story driven than action driven. And, yeah. But yeah, it, it that one is rated five point eight on IMDb. Mm-hmm. The new movie is rated at 5.2. Uh, and it were, meta score is 36, whereas for uh, Bar- for uh, Conan the Destroyer, it's 5.8, and Barbarian is 6.9, and those are all out of 10. So I just think it's funny that the new movie that was supposed to be like, oh, we're going to bring it all back, we're going to focus on the stuff that made Conan the Barbarian so great, is, is, is rated lower than the one from the Schwarzenegger movies that people don't necessarily like. Well, see, I guess a lot of people <laughs> agree with me then because that movie sucks. Yeah. And my point, my point being, I actually, I'll be honest with you, I think they're still being too nice with it because it's like, uh, you know, they're I like, like it. It, it. It's an action. It's more of an action movie than a fantasy movie. But I like it because of that. Well, there was definitely a lot of action in it. Now, and it did still have the fan. It did have the fantasy bit in it, but it wasn't like the world wasn't as magical feeling as fuck. That's true, and that's my. Was, that's what was, I hate it. Yeah, it was less that fantasy fiction and more of a what is real type thing. It's I like, guess you, you it's can like say it's like playing Dungeons and Dragons and taking away both the dungeons and the dragons. Yeah, well, it would be like more taking out like all of the magic. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and just making it a a uh, medieval game. It just wasn't my cup of tea. That movie, that movie, I, I can't say it enough. It just sucked, in my opinion. Yeah, I didn't think it sucked. I, like I said, I I enjoyed it. I really did. I mean, it didn't suck. I'll, I'll, I'll give. I will say this. 
<clears throat> it wasn't RoboCop sucky, but it sucked. I still like it. RoboCop is like the stray turd under the toilet seat. Bad. <laughs> the, the one that you thought you, fl- you, you you flushed but never got around like, to? I don't know. It grew legs and just, I don't know, fell behind the toilet. I don't know. Yeah, I, I don't see that ever happening in anyone's household. If it does happen, you're a sick, sick person. But, uh, <laughs> like, yeah, that's my point. Like, it's just, it's just, it's like the, the turd nugget that won't flush. And that's, yeah, there we go. It's just horrible. It's, <laughs> that movie was just, I wanted to, I wanted to find the person who thought. I want to find the writers and just shove my boot up their ass because they, yeah, yeah. you know, they don't realize Hollywood. You don't realize that by doing these horrible, horrible reboots of movies that we love, you're killing our childhood. Well, I think they're killing people's childhood. You know, childhood now. That's what I'm saying. Oh, a re- yeah. re- the reboot. Okay, you can't say that a PCU did not die after watching Total Recall. Uh, no, because I still love the originals. It, I, a piece of me died for for the just for the whole. Wow, look at the then, look at the shit. But that's my point. A PCU died. Why? Well, you know. Yeah, the original. You you can do what I did. They didn't exist. We can we can you know the the older movies are what really exist. But yeah. I mean, watching it, watching it, you didn't want to just turn it off and go fuck. This is killing a part of me. I. That's how I felt. Like I was watching, I watched Total Recall, and then I watched RoboCop, especially RoboCop. Yeah. I watched that, and I'm just like, this is just pure retardation. This is yeah, it was it was pretty horrible. Ro- the RoboCop, was. right? Yeah, like I, I, you know, when I first heard about, it, I'm like, oh, cool. They kind of revised the suit. Maybe you know, yeah. Of course, they kind of got to do that to make him look, you know, more futuristic. Yeah. But uh, just the story in the movie, everything about it was horrible. Yeah, it 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 wasn't very cohesive. It was. I was hoping for the gun down. I was hoping to see a really good gun down scene like they did in the first one. Did you remember? You remember the controversy behind that that scene where they? I I don't remember the controversy on it. Oh, but a lot of people went. A lot of people like kind of went apeshit because it 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 was it showed like 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 six six seven people gunning down a cop. Well, yeah. When when Murphy got a, the shit shot out of him, I, it, yeah. But but afterwards, the guy uh, unfortunately didn't go, dumbass. Yeah, you know. <laughs> uh, but it it was yeah yeah RoboCop RoboCop the remake just sucked. How many games was based off that first movie? You know. Yeah, how many, that's true. You know, how, be them good or bad. You know, did you see a fucking video game based off the new RoboCop? No, well, I guess not that I'm aware of. I'm they, sure there there might be one, but it. It, it shit so hard that it flushed itself. Maybe they kind, maybe they kind of fucking learned their lesson. I don't know. But and, I mean, and there there were other Conan video games. Uh, yeah. Uh, I remember playing one on a really old system, and I don't even remember exactly what it was, but I know it was an old Atari system that came with Bug Hunt and stuff like that. And uh, there was a there was a Conan game on that, like a stick figure game, if I remember. No, no, no. It was a. Uh, um, it, it it was a, uh, a side scroller, and oh. you would have to pick up swords oh. uh, and stuff like that. There was also a PlayStation, believe it or not, there was a PlayStation Three Conan game. Really? Yeah, it was back in two thousand seven. Well, what was that about? Inform- I have no idea. Inform- I'm, I'm, I I I don't even remember what it was. I remember there being one though. Uh, it was I- done kind of like. the like on the PS2, like the Xena game and stuff like that, was like behind the behind his uh, back type thing. Oh, and... so it was like kind of like uh, Grand Theft Auto esque. Uh, yeah, kinda. Yeah, yeah. Was that third person or whatever? Yeah, it's all right. That's that. I I'd never heard of the game. I thought that's why I was like, ah, oh, it might yeah. be interesting. I don't think I've ever heard of a a Conan game actually doing well. No. Maybe there's a curse behind that. Yeah. Uh, you know, speaking of reboots. Real quick question: uh, What did you think of of uh, Poltergeist? I haven't another, seen it yet. Another just go fuck yourself. What what was the point? Okay, I think it's on yeah, Netflix. It, yeah, it was it it was so fucking terrible. Really? Did you it didn't see know it? if it was. It didn't know if it wanted to be kind of a comedy or if it wanted to be a remake. As far as uh, the new movie goes, we hope that we hope it turns out good. I actually hope and pray. I don't want. I don't want you know another disappointment. Nah, me neither. I, uh, I I'm I'm getting getting really 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 sick of like all this. Oh yeah, we're gonna we're gonna remake this or we're gonna do this, and it just it it comes out terrible. There's, it's yeah. just stop. You don't have the talent to do it. You don't understand what made the original so good. Mm-hmm. Just stop. Those people are probably dead. <laughs> yeah, it'd be it. Honestly, it would be like me going. You know what? I can make South Park better. Let me redo the entire first season. I bet I could do it better than they can because exactly. I watch South Park. I grew up with it. Exactly. I can do better South Park. Exactly. No, you can't. 
And the new game, the reason why it's going to be better, even better than Stick of Truth is because they themselves went, you know what? We can make a better game. But they're the ones doing it. Yep. <laughs> because they weren't happy with it. They know that everybody loved the game. They know that what everybody liked it. They know what the what the problems with the original game is. And they're addressing that, and they're even calling attention to it in the game. Mm -hmm. Revamping the combat system, do, doing a new storyline. They can do it because they 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 already know what, what to fix. Well, they're the writers. They're the guys behind the original yeah. content. So uh, one thing I will say about you know the revamp ghost or the rehash Ghostbusters a little too soon after Ramus died. Yeah. Like it was almost in my opinion because he's one of the original writers. It's almost a slap in his family's face, like a big dick slap in my opinion. Yeah, but they were already working on that before. I still, it's just like, you know, maybe, maybe it's just how I'm looking at it, but it's just, you know, they've been, but they've been working on Ghostbusters, a different version of Ghostbusters, or rather another script for Ghostbusters for years now, and they've all been fucking denied because some actor or another didn't like it. Well, yeah, it's because, of, mostly because of Bill Murray. Yeah. Then when they got the green light for the, for the third movie, they said the script has too much technical information, so they end up making the game mm -hmm. where all of that would work. Which the and game was so, fun. Yeah. It was not the best we could have got, but it was the closest to a third Ghostbusters movie at the time, and I definitely think it was still a fun game. Yeah. Yeah. It would, I mean, who, who doesn't want to destroy shit with a proton pack? Oh, God, yeah. And get Ghostbusters references all the time. It's just, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, there there's our hopes and our wishes and our fears for, for the new Conan coming up and the... Our thoughts of the old ones. The thoughts of the old ones, but, yeah, uh, love Conan. Hope Conan's going to continue to be great. We'll, 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 we'll see. Yeah, I expect more big tittied chicks with like barely clad body, you know, scantily clad bodies. Yeah, and hopefully the social justice warriors won't fuck the movie for us just because. Oh my God, you're showing beautiful women looking beautiful. <laughs> my my butthole hurts. <laughs> it's it's only because of the guy behind him. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. <laughs> oh. All right, everyone, we hope you enjoyed the episode. We will come to you next week with another episode full of nerdy goodness. Nerd! Oh, yeah, you know what? We, I, I believe you do have something you want to review this week. Oh, yeah, shit, yeah, I forgot yeah, about that. So we'll All just... right, a little, little bit late on this, but nerd tech. Yes. Nerd tech! All right, so like like I was talking about in my uh, XIM4, the Zim4, however you want to pronounce it, uh, thing. Well, I'm using the mouse and keyboard for my for my gaming on the PS4 now. Got this really nice keyboard from Logitech. It is the KS800, I believe is what it is. Uh, this is a wireless keyboard. It's got a nice little tiny Bluetooth that you can plug into pretty much anything. Uh, it's a micro slot. You recharge it probably within two hours, and it's good on a max setting for over five hours. I love this keyboard. I've been using it for my my little netbook and everything like that, so hmm. I can I can sit back and type. Now, as far as gaming goes, this is not a gaming keyboard, so you don't have like all the nice little like macro buttons that you can program and things like that. But honestly, for 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 an overall. I love this thing because it lights up. All the keys are backlit, so like you're in a low light setting, stuff like that. As you're typing, the keys can light up, and you can turn that on and off. It's got all the functions that you need. It's a very basic keyboard with with a very good feel to all the keys. So I would say nerd boner. I would give it, yeah, I'd give it like a like like a six out of ten. It's not bad. Six out. Yeah, it, it, it's very functional. It's very nice. I. I absolutely love it, but it's not like the greatest keyboard in the world. If it so, vibrated yeah. and made your your PP feel good, that probably would be better. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. So anyone listening to this, remember to maybe think of about that when you're you know making another keyboard. K, it's the K800 is what it is. Uh, great keyboard, but yeah, I would make like the like the K like the the K8669. You know, do you write? Yeah. Yeah, with with, with with yeah, with, yeah, sexually. So like, you have a USB jack for for your like jacking off. Yeah, yeah, you know that way. If you are gaming, you're you're feeling good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, extra sensory, you know, function to like up your butthole or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it's like like if you get shot, it's like electric shot in your booty hole. Ah! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was good and bad. Yeah. So okay, so you said a six out of ten. I would give it a six out of ten. It's a it's a really nice keyboard. Uh, I but like I said. For, for, for all the nerdy type extra stuff, it doesn't have. It's just a really great keyboard, so 6 out of 10. What uh, what other features? You said, I think you said it lit up. Yeah, it, light, it lights up. It's really easy. It's a plug-and-play. Everything's right inside the little micro USB that you plug in. Okay. Uh, 
It's got really nice rubberized stoppers on the back, so the keys, you know, are really responsive. They snap back real good. It's it's really thin too, which is what I like. And if you wanted to buy this product, where would you go? Uh, I got mine over at Best Buy. So Best uh, Buy. Yeah, Best Buy. You can get it at uh, on Amazon, stuff like that. Definitely, definitely check those two places out. I think mine was actually less expensive from Best Buy. I ah, see that makes sense. Best Buy does does have some good deals. Oh yeah, but yeah, you can also get it straight off the Logitech website. Oh, okay. So it's a log. It is literally a Logitech product. Oh yeah, it's it's literally logic. I've I've got it with my Logitech mouse. Okay. Um, I would not suggest my gaming mouse that I have now, only because it's only 300 DPI on max settings, and now you can get up to like 3,000 or 8,000 or 12,000 or something like that. So damn you, technology. It, yeah, I mean, trust me, my Logitech makes excellent mice. I'm just not going to do a nerd tech review on mine just because it's it's several years old. I got this mouse was brand new, almost a hundred dollars when Battlefield Two came out, and Damn. that's why I bought it. So yeah, it great mouse, excellent, you know, functions well. It's the uh, let me see here just, just to give her a case anybody wants to. It's the MX five eighteen, so definitely an older mouse, fantastic mouse, but there's better mice on the market. Yes, but well. this keyboard for you know just having something nice at your desk and everything like that, I. Definitely suggest it, 6 out of 10. Don't go into it thinking that you're getting a gaming keyboard. It's just a very excellent keyboard. Okay. All right. Well, 6 out of 10, everyone. I think we will end the episode. Uh, Appreciate you listening. We hope to see you next week. All right, guys. Have a good one. So did the nerds finish their podcast. Having no further concern, the two companions sought adventure on PlayStation Network. Many wars and feuds did the nerds fight. Honor and fear were heaped upon their name, and in time, became kings on little boards. But this is a story that shall be told at another time. <laughs> <laughs>